The word obsession encompasses the mindset of everyone at Mossy Oak. We obsess over hiding from, chasing, and conserving the critters we pursue. In this episode, we follow Will Primos and Cuz Strickland as they reunite on the 30th anniversary of the Truth series and talk about their obsession with the wild turkey. This is The Obsessed. The journey of a turkey hunter in the Deep South is an interesting path. But 30 years ago this spring, Cuz and I set out to video turkeys and make a videotape of what we love so much. At the end of the season, we sat down talking about the footage, talking about the hunts. And we looked at each other and said, what are we going to call this thing? And Cuz said, I don't know. All I know is it's the truth. I said, that's it. We're going to call it the truth. But he was asked of me one time, Am I as obsessed or as passionate about it as I was those many, many years ago? And the answer is I have more of an appreciation for the world of the wild turkey than I ever thought possible. But I do love it. I do love sharing it with people who love it. Let's go find one. Over 30 years ago, Will Primos and I set out to make a video on our obsession, turkey hunting. What started as a simple video with a few turkey hunts turned into a series that captured an entire generation of turkey hunters and one of the most well-known brands in the outdoor industry. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the original Truth video. So we invited Will on a turkey hunt that brought him back to the beginning. I don't know what year it was, but it was the early 80s. It may have been 84, it may have been 83, but the National Wild Turkey Federation had their national convention in New Orleans. And I'm there with my little 10 foot booth and selling calls and trying to grow the brand and try to figure this out. Can I ever one day really make a living doing this? And there was a guy there that had bought a little home video camera. He had called up a turkey in Alabama. I'm trying to think, how do I promote Primos? How do I tell people I got these calls that I think are great and I want you to try them? And how do you get them to you know, buy them? You can only give so many away. And I don't have any money to advertise. And he was a couple of booths down from me and he just was there for fun. And he was showing that video over and over and over. And everybody in that show was standing in front of his booth at one time or another. I went, I, I, that's, that's what I can do. But somewhere along the way in there, I met you at Rex or you call me or something about that audio cassette. We had, to, we had to try to tell the story of what it really felt like to sit down, to set to a turkey and yelp to him and get him to come up there looking for you yeah. and gobble it in your face. Hello, I'm Wilbur Primos. That small piece of footage you just saw is just a sampling of what you're going to see on this video. This past spring, we took video gear into the woods nearly every day, both before, during, and after the season. If you're a veteran turkey hunter or just a beginner, you know how hard it can be to get that turkey into shotgun range. Add one or two extra people and about 80 pounds of camera and microphone equipment, and you can just imagine some of the problems that can occur. Coming up, we have many exciting hunts to show you. But before we do, I'd like to introduce to you a good friend great hunter and a wonderful cameraman. This is Ronnie Cuz Strickland. Ronnie, let's tell everybody about how hard it was to get some of this footage. Well, it, you, you covered it first. You said it took a lot of luck. That's what it was. Never dreamed it would be where it would end up today, but again, we weren't, if passion trumps everything, if you're that fired up about it, you'll figure those things out. But the fact that y'all had that kind of vision back then and we just, went and recorded what was going on. I don't remember who, who said it, but it was somebody that was well known in the business world. And he said, 
You can question somebody's knowledge. You can question a lot of things about them. But don't underestimate their passion. Well, Ronnie, we got a bunch of hunts to show. Right. I'm going to say let's get started. <laughs> All these hunts are exactly as they happen. There's no fancy edits, there's no stage scene. Cause you yelped us up a turkey. Thirty years ago, we were doing the same thing. You a turkey killing machine? <laughs> you a turkey yelping machine? Hey, I learned from the master. Oh man. Hey, I love you, brother. I love you too, brother. I love you being here. I love you, brother. Ooh, he ain't no two-year-old either. He ain't either. no two-year-old either. How many of them was it? Two. Two. Two big long. They took their time, didn't they? <laughs> I'm sitting by the tree and I'm going, yeah. If it's just me, I'd be up there. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't just me. <laughs> if you'd have been up there, it would have been just you. <laughs> hey. It has been an incredible ride. It sure has. I'm so thankful every day I met you and Toxie. And the, the, the strongest comment is the people, and I don't know how many it's been, but it has been many. They walk up to me and they go, I just want to say thank you. I want to thank you because I didn't have a daddy. It's just amazing. It's, it's you, we didn't set out to try to do something like that. Who knew? That's all I can think is who knew it would become a cult. So, well, the good news is it's all downhill from here. So sure is. It was all uphill from here. I love you, brother. Love you, brother. I can't tell you how much I enjoy it. I've heard people talk about being obsessed about something. And there's some personalities out there that, like mine, they get on to something and they're going to figure it out and give it their all. And I've tried to understand it. I've tried to figure it out. But as far as turkey hunting goes and being obsessed, I'll explain it to you this way. My friend Brad Ferris and I were hunting one time and he knew that I was overly stressed out. I was in debt for many tens of millions of dollars. And we sat down to a turkey that morning. I wasn't gonna go, Brad made me go. 
and we sat down to a turkey. And I waited till he flew down and I started talking to him. And that turkey came and all of a sudden it was over. And all of a sudden I realized I felt better. That that, 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 that moment while I was engaged with that turkey, my mind was not thinking about anything else. It wasn't thinking about debt. It wasn't thinking about cutting the loan. It wasn't thinking about going to the dentist. It wasn't thinking about anything else. I was focused. And I sat down, I told that to Brad. And I said, thank you for making me come. So being obsessed is being so passionate about something that when you're involved in it, your mind doesn't think about anything else. I'm Will Primos, and I am obsessed. <laughs>